Hello! If you're watching this video then you've probably been searching for some hints and tips on how to make note-taking more efficient and effective. Well, in this video I'm going to teach you how to restructure the sentence so that when you are taking notes uh, you will write 50% less on average than you would typically write when capturing information. But in addition to that, you'll secure some other benefits in uh, along the way. You will increase your understanding of what is said, uh, probably by about 20% on average. Uh, you will increase your ability to recall, uh, to remember the things that you've written down when you then look back at your notes in six weeks time or six months time but also by because you've written less the big benefit that you get from this what i'm about to show you is that you will be able to engage with the speaker much much more so whether that's in developing the relationship maintaining eye contact or just being ready and able to ask questions to explore the ideas uh, around the topic that you're listening to so that's what i'm going to do in this uh, short video um, my name is Martin Hamilton. I am a uh, people development consultant and for the last 25 years I've worked with, uh, most of that time I've worked with uh, PwC and other leading organisations as head of learning um, and talent director, helping uh, leaders, teams and individuals to be more productive. So uh, that's that's what we're going to cover. Now, if you stick around um, to the end of the video, I've got something else that I'd love to give you, which will um, uh, give you some additional hints and tips uh, around this topic. So what we're going to look at now <clears throat> is uh, taking a very, very simple sentence and I'm going to show you how to restructure that. So if you are sitting in a classroom, if you are sitting in a business meeting, if you are in a lecture or a presentation and you're receiving information, so you're taking notes, uh, I'm going to show you how to restructure that into this much, much more efficient method. Now, the, the sentence that we'll use, very, very simple sentence, uh, just to illustrate the point. Um, and let's imagine that the topic is developing nations and we're talking about the sentence that we're going to cover is um, uh, we need access to food and clean water. So we're going to take that sentence, we're going to break it apart, we're going to rebuild it. And you're going to see how the, the, the benefits that I mentioned a moment ago are going to come to fruition. OK, let's take a look at how you could restructure a sentence. The sentence that we're going to work with is uh, we need access to food and clean water. <clears throat> Here's a sentence that I might typically hear as they either from in a, in a, in a geography uh, class or if I am listening to the news and it's talking about uh, uh, developing nations and the sorts of challenges that they might face. So in that sentence, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you've got eight words. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to restructure that sentence so that you can get a few uh, key outcomes. One is um, you get a deeper understanding of the content of that sentence. Now, this is a simple example. It's only a short sentence. Uh, but the second thing is um, it's going to help you to think about the kinds of questions you might want to ask or the areas you might want to explore to to help expand your understanding of that statement. So as I say, I've taken a deliberately simple sentence just to help to illustrate the point. So the template that I'm going to use is part of the smart wisdom technique. Um, I'm only going to show you a tiny, tiny piece of this and how it works. Um, obviously, if you take the uh, Smart Wisdom training, you would understand uh, a lot more about how to um, how to use it. But let me just give you an insight so that you could actually take this technique and you could start to use it right away. So the, the circles are part of the structure. So you might want to the, it, very simply draw the, the structure on your page. So if so, here's how I'm going to capture this same sentence using Smart Wisdom. So we need access to food and clean water. So I'm going to say, what's that all about? Well, that's all about the, the need. OK, so what's the need? The need is for access. If I could spell it, that would help. We need, need access. And what do we need access to? Uh, we need access to food and clean water. Now, first tip that I'm going to share with you is uh, where you get the word and, you've got a split in concept. So actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split the food and the clean water into two different ideas. Now, here's the second uh, tip that I'm going to help you with in terms of restructuring. In the English language, we typically put the more important um, concept second. So we talk about clean water. Well, what's that all about? Well, that's really all about the water. The fact that it's clean is important, but actually what we're talking about is, is water. But one of the techniques that you learn in Smart Wisdom is called reversal. And you reverse the technique, and I'll show you, and you'll see in a moment why that's important. 
Uh, so I'm going to write down water and clean. Okay, because now um, what we can see is that now I've written five words instead of eight. So almost reduced by half uh, immediately the amount of, of words that I've actually had to write down. Um, so that speeds things up instantly to make things a little bit more efficient. But that's not really the where the real value starts to kick in. Where the real value starts to kick in is your ability to then really understand what's been said and to expand your thinking on that. OK, so let me show you how that works. So I said, so you need access to food. Well, right away, I'm now, let me just change the colour here just to make this a little bit more obvious. So right away, I'm now thinking, uh, OK, so tell me what kind of food are we talking about? Uh, so we might be talking about, uh, let's say, fresh veg. Well, again, let's use the reversal techniques. Let's put uh, veg and fresh because I can now say, well, apart from fresh veg, is there any other kind of veg? Well, yeah, there's frozen veg. Um, and frozen veg can obviously can last longer than fresh produce. So now I've got I'm, I'm, help, I'm using the structure to help expand my thinking. So now I can say it's okay. So in terms of food, apart from veg, what other um, uh, kind of things might I be interested in? Well, maybe I might say things like um, uh, bread. Um, so I say, well, okay. Well, what's bread all about? Well, bread is all about um, let's call it staples. Uh, staple food group so say so we've actually got sort of bread um what about uh i might say eggs well what's that part of well eggs yeah i could be part of dairy so uh let's put dairy as a as a category and then eggs because uh, now i can see apart from eggs what other dairy produce might i be interested in and now you can see we're going to start to expand the thinking into milk and cheese and so on and so forth so that by reversing the the concept you open up your mind to the possibility of um, more uh, detail. Okay, let's take the second example um, and you'll see again reversal in action. So access to clean water. So water clean. Um, so I could I could explore that concept of clean water a little bit further. Uh, but apart from clean water, what other things to do with water might, might I be interested in? Well, maybe I'm interested in um, purification tablets. So let me capture that. So there's tablets purification okay uh, and again now that I've created purification tablets I can now say well actually are there any other kinds of tablets that may be uh, may be important here um, now that gets me to start thinking about well maybe maybe you know we need to be thinking about um, uh, things that we need access to other than food and water and tablets immediately sparks in mind sort of um, medicine uh, so what's medicine all about? Well, medicine is really all about health. So apart from food and water, uh, people might need access to some he some health uh, benefits. Now we talked about um, tablets for medicine, so I can now put my medicine in here, medicine, and and then I can start to explore if I like. Well, what kinds of medicine? So I, you can see that the detail gets pushed further and further right with the the core concepts, the bigger chunked concepts more at the at the centre. Um, so apart from uh, medicines that I might want to capture, are there any other health uh, considerations that I might have? Well, I might, what about well being? Um, so I might have that as a consideration, and then again I can explore concepts around around well being. Apart from medicine and uh, well-being, what else might I need to think about? Well, I might need to think maybe about sanitary conditions. Sanitary. So that might be around, you know, hygiene and soaps and, and other things, um, which um, we need to think about. So uh, so that's all just sprung ideas that have just sprung from the structure of the notion of purification tablets. Uh, so then if you think about um, needing access uh, to food, water, health and so on, what else do we need? Well, if we take if we stick with our water idea, maybe one of the things that we need to think about is the um, uh, the infrastructure, the pipes and things that, that actually get the water to people. So, <coughs> there, you know, there are the pumps and, and so on. So that's all. About, let's say that's about infrastructure. So if I put in infrastructure there and pipes. OK, so now I can say, well, what kind of pipes is it that I might need? Well, there's the, the mains pipes. Uh, so we need to think about uh, how do you get water from reservoirs or tanks to whole towns. Uh, so there's the mains types, uh, mains pipes. 
Um, then there are stand pipes and pumps. So the stand um, pumps. Now, interestingly, I've written stand pumps, but you can see, maybe you've already picked this up. If I'd reversed this and put pumps and stand, I could then have thought, well, what other kind of pumps might we might we need apart from the stand pumps? Okay, so apart from uh, the mains pipes and stand um, pumps, what else might we need? Uh, well, uh, what about taps? Well, where are taps? What's taps? Well, that's all part of plumbing. So what I might then do is, um, so in terms of the pipes, I've got plumbing. And then I can start to think about, well, where that plumbing needs to be. So it might be in schools, um, houses, hospitals, you know, and you could just keep going. Um, and if I needed to explore any further detail on, well, tell me more about the plumbing that's needed in schools, I could then explore that further. OK, so... Uh, what I wanted to, to, to really illustrate with this um, very, very simple example is that by taking a simple sentence of eight words, uh, what you're able to do is, firstly, you're able to reduce the volume of words that are written, which um, is helpful because it means you can pay more attention and listen more to what's being said. But much, much more importantly, you can see the, the ideas that start to spring from the structure that maybe don't necessarily spring out from a sentence uh, the way that it might be more traditionally written. So just to recap, the challenge that we had set ourselves was how do we capture information? How do we capture uh, and take notes in a much more effective and efficient way? Uh, so that in order to do that, there were a couple of things that we that we learned in that little exercise just there. So the first is um, we stripped out a number of words that are not really adding any value. So of and 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 the and it and so on and so forth. Uh, we can take those out. So just leaving ourselves with just the, the key words. So that's the first thing that you're doing uh, when restructuring the sentence. Um, and the second thing that you're doing is you are you're looking for our opportunities to reverse the concepts that you're hearing. So where we talked about um, clean water, we put down water and then clean. And that then allows you to then either uh, expand your thinking on the topic or it allows or it prompts you with, with questions that you might want to ask uh, either the, the speaker, the teacher or whoever is sharing the information with you. OK, so th those are just um, a couple of little insights into the smart wisdom technique and how it works, but things that, that you could do straight away. And, and, a, and that's a way that you could capture information from today uh, onwards and try it out, see, see how it works for you. OK, so uh, if you can do that, then um, hopefully you will then be able to tap into the, the benefits that I mentioned earlier of being able to uh, listen uh, more actively, being able to understand and recall better the things that you are hearing. I did promise that if you stuck around, um, I had a little gift for you, an additional gift for you, in addition to the, those um, sort of hints and tips. Um, and um, so what we've done is we've created uh, uh, another guide for you that can um, that will uh, help you in managing information in some different situations. Uh, typically, some of these are in meet meetings, but not exclusively so. Um, and if you like that guide, then uh, down below. In the description of this video, you'll find that there's a link um, that we just click on that. Uh, if you just stick in your email address, we can email automatically. We will email the uh, that guide to you and that's yours and that's free. Um, and hopefully you'll find that helpful, interesting and um, useful. Uh, so uh, it only remains for me to say that if you found this video uh, helpful, um, then it would do me a great service if you could give it a thumbs up. Um, to, to like the video, um, ideally, even better still, if you can share it with your own uh, friends, colleagues, network, um, that means then that others who might want to be thinking about how do they restructure sentences to make it make their note taking more efficient, then they can benefit from it too. Um, and if you hit the little subscribe button, then uh, it means then that whenever we issue additional videos that maybe explain some other aspects of the smart wisdom techniques, um, then you'll pick up those whenever we create those videos too. OK, so I uh, hope you find that really helpful. Um, my, my name is Martin Hamilton. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you and look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.